Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a smooth zoom transition. If you've been here a while, you know I've done this twice already, but I found a new method with new effects and it's way faster. It's actually using the same effects as the smooth slide I did a few weeks ago. So I will link all of these videos in the little uh, thing inside and also in the description. Okay, so to start, you need to have your two clips. Here are mine. Yeah, just random clips. It's just to show you how it looks. You're gonna go here and cut about like 8 to 10 frames of each of them. We're cutting it because what we're gonna do is gonna reduce the quality somewhat. And so you don't really want it to be on the whole clip, but when it's in the effect and moving, it's okay. I'm gonna add a lot of effects. So the first one I'm gonna add is Video Grid. Here you want to change the numbers to have multiple rows and columns and for my resolution here which is uh, normal HD it's just 105 that's the best number I found. I'm pretty sure for different resolution it would be a different number and I'm not sure what this number means so yeah. Uh, one thing though is that you don't want to change the resolution after this because now that we're gonna add fill borders these like they don't look right if you don't uh, have the, the right um, preview resolution here. So even if it's slower, you have to keep it. And here you're gonna go to the left and go until it fills the left part. And here it's gonna be 640 because these are pixels, so it's easier. And mirror, and I'm actually gonna do 641 just in case. Then I'm gonna add three more effects fill borders like this because we want it for each side. So the second one is gonna be to the right, also 641 and mirror. The third one is gonna be to the top and it's gonna go here, it's gonna be 360 if I'm not wrong and also mirror. Uh, we can do 361 just in case. And the bottom one, 361 as well with mirror, sorry. And now we have like an image that's all smooth. And then we're gonna do the zooming in and zooming out. So transform to zoom in. And first we're gonna go to the last frame and make sure that this is um, the same size as the next frame. So it's gonna be 300% here. And center in both directions and it shouldn't move between the two. And then for the first one, I think that's a bit too zoomed out. So I'm just gonna zoom in like here and center. And now we're gonna add keyframes to make it smoother. So I'm gonna add a keyframe here. Like, no, maybe like here, yeah, here. And this one is gonna be 280. By the way, these numbers are kind of arbitrary. Um, I'm just kind of going with the flow. This one is going to be higher, so it's going to be like 220 and centered. And now we have a zooming in motion for the second part. And for the first one, we're going to want to zoom in, but we don't need to do the whole thing that we did first. We just need to zoom in here. So I'm also going to add some keyframes. So one at the beginning and this one is going to be less zoomed in. So like maybe one, one, ten. And another one here that's gonna be, uh, I don't know, 180. <laughs> Let's go frame by frame, see if I like it. I think that works. And you can do the same with zooming out and you'll just uh, exchange kind of the transform effects and do this whole thing on the other clip. And then once you have it done, you can just save it, by the way. I never really say that, but like, here you can do here save effect stack and you can save it with whatever and you can reuse it every time so you don't need to redo it oh by the way on saturday i'm gonna do a demonstration for a lib graphics meeting and so you're welcome to come it's free it's online it's gonna be fun i'll put a link in the description as well okay well see you later bye bye